Good morning, folks. We've got several different looks at the sun, a discovery that makes them rethink human migration over time, a deep dive into solar storm impact to GPS technology, and a big revelation about one of the world's most dangerous volcanoes. Let's start with our star, and we find the last 24 hours was very calm. We've had no significant solar flares or filament eruptions, and the solar wind is quiet as well as geomagnetic conditions. It's challenging to see the coronal holes here, so let's pull them up in 211 angstroms to see the large but fragmented complex extending up from the south polar crown. It's likely these will provide enhanced solar wind conditions as we enter the weekend. The brightness on the incoming limb is the appearance of new sunspots. does look like we have ones incoming both on the north and the south, but it's the southern groupings that appear most complex at this time. We're going to have to monitor those for eruptive activity, as well as the plasma filaments which we saw erupting in the previous two shows. You can see a big one there on the south, near the central longitudes. First up in today's articles is one on the discovery of a skull and shin bone in a cave that causes them to rethink how the history of human migration occurred. They date the items to around 86,000 years ago, which means that humans would have gone through the Southeast Asia region fairly earlier than they had previously believed. Up next is a more detailed look at loss of lock problems, which describe issues with GPS devices and satellites caused by enhanced solar activity and the resulting geomagnetic storms. It's well understood that this happens, but the study further clarifies that the plasma activity in the upper reach of the atmosphere is what is driving those technological issues. Lastly, folks, we have said for years that one of the scariest volcanoes to watch in the upcoming disaster cycle is Campi Flegri in Italy. This new paper sent a chill down my spine as it describes the weakening crust in the area, likely due to magma uplift, and how the volcano is becoming more and more likely to erupt over the near-term future. Needless to say, nothing has changed in my opinion of how this is one of the most dangerous features in the world. Folks, we are 10 days from the next Observer event. Grab your tickets at the link below to the meetup at Observer Ranch. You'll be able to see the progress, and we'll have a good time as always when the crowd is full of us like-minded individuals. Those tickets and other resources can be found at the links below in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.